Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Thoroughfare Gap that occurred in Prince William and Fakir Counties, Virginia on August 28, 1862. In response to Stonewall Jackson's raid on Manassas Junction, Union Major General Erwin McDowell attempted to push him back with his Union forces. Knowing that Confederate General Longstreet was going to be approaching from McDowell's flank, he sent Brigadier General James B. Ricketts Brigade and the 1st New Jersey Cavalry, commanded by Sir Percy Wyndham, to stop Longstreet as soon as they could. Probably the most unfortunate decision made that day, though, was when Ricketts stopped his men at Gainesville, six miles short of Thoroughfare Gap. This is while Sir Percy Wyndham and his 1st New Jersey Cavalry continued onto the gap itself by themselves. That six miles would make all the difference. In the early August morning, Wyndham's troops engaged Longstreet's Confederates. Wyndham sent a messenger back to Ricketts at Gainesville, but Ricketts was slow and didn't reach the halfway point to Thoroughfare Gap, known as Haymarket, which was still three miles away, until after 2 p.m. Wyndham had long been pushed back from the gap by this point. Ricketts finally engaged Longstreet later that afternoon. He did this by utilizing the 11th Pennsylvania to attack the 2nd and 20th Georgia regiments under the command of Henry Benning. Meanwhile, the Union's 13th Massachusetts attempted to aid the 11th Pennsylvania, who had been fighting for some time. They did this by pushing up the slopes on the east side, but they were met with no success and were pushed back by those same Georgia units. Once the gap was fully secured, Longstreet sent out multiple brigades to flank the Union troops and attack the rear, and they met with great success. In desperation, the Union attempted to stop them with the 84th New York Infantry. By this time, though, it had become apparent that the Union forces had lost. Acknowledging this, Ricketts retreated back to Gainesville, leaving the gap fully under Confederate control and allowing Longstreet to finally meet up with Jackson. While exact casualties were not known, it is believed that there was in total less than 100 men killed, wounded, or missing combined between the two forces. Please join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.